we can already start to see the headlines, friends. Boy, really gearing up when it comes to President Trump's latest move in calling for Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Never realized just how much hatred there is for the Jewish people. And of course, it's not just from the Muslim community. There's so many people that just hate them and do not believe in the word of God and its fulfillment. Uh, but nonetheless, now Hezbollah, uh, their leader, Nasrallah, backs call for new Palestinian intifada. I don't think the last one actually stopped, so I guess this will be considered the fourth intifada. And uh, IDF says two rockets launched from Gaza amid violent protests over Trump's uh, Jerusalem decision. Even on Israeli News Live on our uh, comment section, we were getting those in there uh, from some of the Muslim communities calling for an intifada there. Also saying that they need to rise up with a yet another intifada. Uh, you know, the thing is, friends, these intifadas are actually pushed more from uh, other outside means than you could ever imagine. And of course, I lived in Israel during the second intifada and survived the suicide bombing. In fact, on our YouTube channel, if you uh, were to go there, not, well, I got actually a video loading, uh, same video loading there on our teaching channel, Denon Institute. Uh, but the very picture there on Israeli News Live, that was the bombing in September uh, 2014 when I lived in uh, Jerusalem then. Very troubling situation is going on, and I'm sure the violence is going to increase. Somebody in the background will be pushing for more and more violence. Uh, very sad to say, but that's definitely the case. Let me also just encourage you, those of you that uh, do watch our news channel here, we do have a Twitter channel, uh, Israeli News Live here on Twitter. Be sure to check it out. Uh, join up with us there. We mostly... Uh, we look at, uh, we scan the news that's going on in multiple languages, and that's normally the type of things we do retweet out. Don't say that all of us is that exactly right, but uh, every once in a while we also load up uh, a video there on Twitter, uh, something we might catch live going on that we don't necessarily share on Israeli News Live. So just wanted to let you know about that. Keep that in mind to you. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.